top of the class tutors will keep in touch with your child's teacher at school to help bridge the communication gap between the home and the classroom. This also helps your tutor keep their lessons specifically relevant to the areas of schoolwork they need the most support with. You may find it interesting to know that this approach can have a far more powerful effect than many people realise. By communicating directly with the school, your tutor is able to plant positive seeds of thought into the mind of your child's teacher, with the aim to positively impact the way they perceive and therefore treat your child in the classroom. As unusual as this sounds, it has been scientifically proven that when teachers have more positive expectations of certain students, it not only results in more favourable treatment of those students, it also improves those students' perception of their own abilities, thus providing a powerful boost to their academic performance. This scientific phenomenon is referred to by education and behavioural psychologists as the Pygmalion effect. Over the years, there's been some really crucial studies that have actually shown us a lot about the most powerful impact on young learners' performance. Now, some teachers might be aware of this stuff, but I think parents might find it very interesting to learn about and may even find some of it to be quite a surprise. The most uh, famous study was, of course, the Rosenthal experiment, which revealed some very uh, surprising insight about the most powerful impact on a young learner's performance. So what do you think they found? Well. In this study, psychologists told teachers within a school that particular students in their class had been tested and identified as intellectually gifted, but they were late bloomers, so they hadn't fully come out of their shell yet, but they were told that soon they would gradually start to show signs of their true intellectual gifts. So when the teachers were told this, you know, what do you think they started to see? Well, within a very short period of time, those same students in the class started showing rapid improvements in their learning. In fact, you know, these kids started skyrocketing above all the other kids in the class very, in a very short period of time too. So, you know, I mean, why did this happen? So here's what they discovered. When those positive expectations were planted like seeds of thought into the minds of those teachers, those seeds gradually started to kind of drift down and, and settle deep down into the subconscious mind of those teachers. And guess what happened there? Well, they started to grow. In fact, they started to flourish in line with their students' performance. Now, why did this happen? Well, it was because the teachers' positive expectations now started to change the way that they perceived, interacted with, and even started to treat those particular students. I mean, very subtly, you know, very subconsciously. In fact, at the time, they didn't even realize that it was happening. And the subconscious mind can be far more powerful than we realize sometimes, isn't it? Because unbeknownst to anybody, those students gradually started to take in their teacher's message more and more. They started to make sense and understand their teacher's lessons at a deeper and deeper level. So that those positive seeds of expectations not only grew and flourished, they actually spread into the minds of those students. Who then started to see their own abilities in a more positive light. And that allowed them to feel more confident. And if there's one thing that we know for certain about learning performance, it's that we take in more skill faster when we allow ourselves to feel more confident now. In fact, the more we feel confident, the faster we learn. So we've got these kids who are otherwise ordinary students, but they're starting to perform at the level of intellectually gifted students. Now, psychologists call this the Pygmalion effect. Um, it's more colloquially referred to just as the self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, likewise, the reverse has been shown to be true too. When teachers are given negative expectations about certain students, those same students start to show more uh, poorer performance in the class. So it goes to show two very important lessons that we can take away from this. The first is, it, it shows us how important that a learner's own self-image affects their ability to learn. But most interestingly, it shows how powerful the perceptions of their teacher has on their perceptions of themselves. So the obvious question with the Rosenthal study was, you know, were those students actually gifted? And of course the researchers would have said, no, they were just ordinary kids picked at random, which was true. But here's the thing that I think a lot of people and even a lot of other tutors overlook. Every child is gifted. In their own unique way, every student, every learner, every child has their own unique set of, of hidden strengths and undiscovered potential that just lays sleeping, you know, locked away and hiding deep down somewhere in the back of their subconscious mind. And I think what this study proved was that all it takes 
is for the right person to come along and, and to see those strengths and to reach out with the right key and unlock that potential so that those sleeping gifts now you know, wake up. And I think when that happens, we can expect to see miraculous change. So by keeping your child's teacher at school up to date with their progress, it also helps us to plant those seeds and send that message. Now even though it can be very subtle, as we've found out, ultimately the effect can be very powerful.